What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in on today's episode of Pinchy Al's Garage. We got a big order that just came in from Scooter Swap Shop and from a local guy on, uh, well not local, but a uh, guy on pretty much on Facebook, I believe Jacob. Uh, we ordered a, an exhaust and a full load of mods. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. Now you guys know me, I can't leave something stock, so. Uh, my Honda ADV scooter now has uh, 600 miles on it, and it's been fun, but now that uh, we've done that, we're gonna go further. So we're gonna unbox the exhaust system, then the big box from Scooter Swap Shop. Uh, <laughs> This guy boxed the crap out of this thing, and I am very appreciative for that. Now this is a, I'm gonna, it's a Japanese exhaust system for uh, my Honda ADV. And it's from Yoshimura. So Yoshi, Yoshimura. So that is the exhaust system that we got for the, uh, Honda ADV now it is used just so you guys know I didn't buy a new one uh, I didn't have that kind of cash to get a brand new one got a used one and I'm okay with that uh, The guy gave me a heads up of what happened. He did strip some of the bolts, but they're just bolts I can replace those not a big deal um, But here's the hardware pretty straightforward. It's got a couple stickers in here <laughs> by Kernables, I don't know who that is, but we'll see. Oh, we got more stickers on here. Check out the padding here. Oh, look at the little pipe. It's adorable. So these are, uh, okay, so this is a slip, slip on uh, pretty much exhaust system. Not bad, not bad. Uh, stainless steel, definitely. That's adorable. Again, it is used, so you'll start seeing the, the blue on here and a little bit of the uh, the, the metal getting a little gold. Uh, that's normal, um, just due to heat. Okay, oh, he gave me something else. Yeah, let's open this up. Okay, it's part of it. Oh, I think this is the... Uh, the DB killer, this is what the silencer, I guess. Make it a little bit quieter. Um, from what I read online, it doesn't do much to quiet the exhaust, so uh, we'll see. Um, it's pretty cool, it's adorable, it's all tiny. But it's all stainless steel. This is why this one costs so much money. Uh, just because it's, it's just a really good exhaust system. It flows the best out of anything uh, aftermarket for these bikes. Um, Again, this is like this is like the creme of the creme for exhaust systems for these little scooters, you know. God, that thing's so tiny. Oh, but it looks so cool. So there you go, a Yoshimura um, Cyclone exhaust system. So again, this has got slip on. So you'll see here, they slide on right here. And you have some springs and then that's pretty much it. That's all that holds it there. And then the two bolts on the bottom and obviously all the hangers that you use to actually mount it to your bike. Um, this is the DB uh, silencer. It goes on. Pretty straightforward. You pop this in here. Line it up inside and then you just pop in the screw. I'm probably not going to deal with that. Uh, there's a lot of reviews out there online already with, with and without it. I want it as noisy as possible uh, due to the fact that it's pretty much for the way I'm going to be running my bike with a lot of mods. This is going to be super, super beneficial uh, in comparison to the stock one. So first piece of the puzzle, exhaust system, super stoked. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jacob, for hooking it up. Saved me about 200 bucks. I am not going to complain. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. 
Now, we're going to be doing a whole line of videos of before and after. And then I got this uh, multiple packages on the way. Let's see what came in this box first. So this is going to be like a kind of a, a journey video, but let's see what's in this one. Oh man, oh man, there's something here. Okay, hold on. There's a big piece in here. Three, four, four. Okay, a lot of paper. So, first step right here. Oh my god, it's a little filter. <laughs> it's so adorable. Yes, it's a little filter. <laughs> it's a little cannon filter. This egg is so tiny. It's as big as my breather valve on my on my uh, VW. That's hilarious. Uh, oh, and here's the intake. Uh, this is actually the intake for the bike. Um, I don't know how to. It's Chimera um, intake. Open this up really quick. Oh, the little tiny pipe is adorable. Oh my god, everything's so tiny for these things. Oh wow, this is legit. It's got a little bit of a velocity stack built into it. It's got a little secondary nipple here. More likely for the vacuum or some sensor on there. And it's got a coupler, more likely for from the throttle body to the intake. And then this guy right here. The little filter mounts right here. Yep, just like that. Super cool, and this has the adapter for the throttle body. Just like that, look at that, it's so adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, there's that one. Um, oh, there's a sticker. Gotta keep my stickers, it's gonna go on my box. This is for the uh, A-Racer. This is part of the uh, ECU that we uh, bought. Right here from uh, A Racer PowerTech, full on pretty much uh, engine management management system for wide band uh, fueling. This is going to give us a lot of power for very little money actually, um, and it's auto tunable and you can also manually tune it. Obviously, I'm going to be doing man auto tuning. I'm not very good with fueling and whatnot, so. Um, this is the O2 sensor functionality here, adaptation for this kit. Um, super, super cool. We're gonna have to take it to an exhaust shop and get the O2 sensor welded in as well. Um, so I'm very excited for this uh, mod. This is gonna be like the last thing out of the whole entire uh, setup that we put in. Um, so we're gonna walk you through this entire project and get you guys set up to show you guys what we do and how we uh, get this bike tuned for... Yeah, so we gotta make sure it's water. Um, but yeah, this is the entire ECU right here. Pretty dope, it's a plug and play ECU setup. Uh, it's designed, strictly designed to literally plug and play to the, um, to the uh, factory harness. It's a kind of like a piggyback, but it takes over completely from the factory setup. So I'm super stoked for this. Oh man. All right, so we got that. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, we got my mirrors. I upgraded some mirrors on here because the mirrors that come on the stock ADV just suck, honestly. They just really suck. And so I'm hoping that these will probably benefit me a little bit more yeah, they're a lot wider. They're way more aggressive. Um, yeah, the stuff that comes from the factory for the Hondas, just they just suck, honestly. Um, so I'm excited because all we need is something. I don't see... Uh, so up and down and more likely the forward and back is part of the other mirror. But yeah. Super simple mirrors. These were only like 30 bucks. We'll try them out. If I like them, I'll keep them. If I don't, oh well. We'll go somewhere else. 
Let's see here. Oh, got some cleaner. I've been wanting to clean my bike for a while, so I got some cleaner. Fuel injector with the fuel uh, um, rail. Um, we needed this. This is the part of the uh, ECU upgrade. So we got a bigger fuel injector. Little tiny, look at this little thing. It's freaking dope. Uh, and then a much larger fuel rail. Uh, again, for more power, when you add more fuel, and when you add more intake and exhaust, you're limited based off your, uh, pretty much your fueling. And then we're also gonna be tuning, so we're gonna be able to get everything mapped correctly and nicely on here. Uh, let's see what's in, ooh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so we got a, a Melosi Yellow Spring. Uh, so this is gonna let me pretty much rev up even more on the on the CVT transmission. Uh, this is pretty much super needed when you upgrade your clutch. So very important. We got some NCY rollers, uh, 15 grams. I believe, oh, a lollipop and some more stickers. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Oh, and a little camshaft. So I'm, I'm missing uh, some weights. Uh, they're on their way over here. So this is actually an upgraded camshaft for my motor. This is the big upgrade. This is gonna be the last and final upgrade on my build, um, which is this little cam. All right, you guys can see that. It's got two little lobes here. It's adorable. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing this as well. This is a more aggressive cam for the Honda ADV. Uh, from Scooter Swap Shop with their videos, they gained almost like 1.2 horsepower with just, just a cam, which is insane for a cam. So I'm extremely excited for this uh, mod uh, right at the end. This is probably gonna go in after I put about 1,000 to 2,000 miles on my bike. So this is gonna be kind of like the last thing I install on my bike uh, later, much later down the road.